So YouTube, team keep it clean What's going on, it's Engraven here with another video Before we get into this, because I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm appreciative of what the Ravens are doing uh, For Lamar Jackson in this case, especially with all the back and forth on the rumors that was floating around They, this is good, but uh, I wish it would have happened sooner But we'll talk about that in a little bit But um Shout out to uh, Rita. Shout out to Glenn Clark. I uh, was able to be on 105.7 uh, this morning. So appreciate both of them uh, for having me on. It was about 15 minutes. Uh, and if you want to check it, it's, it's super quick. It wasn't nothing crazy, but it, it was uh, it was really fun. It, it was really, really fun to be on there with them. Um, so shout out to the both of them, 105.7, the fan. Uh, if you want to check it out, listen to it back. Uh, again, it's really quick. Uh, and we just we, we talked about a lot of stuff that we talk about on here. Uh, but you could go to the Odyssey app and, and go to 105.7 and check it out. So anyway, shout out to them for having me on. Uh, much love to the both of them. Now, um, with Lamar Jackson. Now, we know that this, all the rumors, the back and forth, it's been crazy. It's been wild. Y'all already know what time it is. Um, but something that I was a little bit bothered by uh, was the fact that, like, hey, if, if Lamar Jackson is your guy, Ravens, uh, then y'all should have him back. You have his back. And I know Ravens hear all of this stuff. They hear all of this stuff. And because John Harbaugh, again, he, he talked about us that sit at the end of the bar, how all, all the conversations that we have about this football team. He said, yeah, he don't like hearing about it. He don't care about it. He said, all y'all that sit at the end of the bar, y'all can talk about all that stuff. And we do. We sit up at the end of the bar with whatever you're drinking. Whatever your preference is, I don't know if you're a, a bourbon person, a whiskey, or Hennessy, like rum, you, you like vodka, or whatever your preference is, whatever, or just water, or juice, hey, it don't matter. But we sit at the end of the bar, and we have our conversations. But Harbaugh acknowledged that. Um, but I just, uh, I, I felt like the Ravens could have done a better job of nipping this thing in the bud a long time ago. Uh, because if they would have put out something And I know even with Harbaugh I know he doesn't like to speak about injuries I know that But then at the same time Like the way that He answered the question Cordell's question Cordell Woodland's question from the other day When Cordell asked about what was, was, was Lamar Jackson's injury Was it a strain or uh what i forgot exactly how he asked about it but he asked cordell woodland asked about lamar jackson's injury what's the status of it and, and harbaugh just kind of like brushed it off and said oh that that's not my place to talk about that and we're only going to talk about the the players that are here and i'm like what like what was that what was that a again it's one thing to not talk about injuries he could have been like oh well, and, and you know Harbaugh got a lot of PR training. Har Harbaugh know he got away with his words and whatnot. Uh, Harbaugh knows how to talk the talk because he's been doing this thing for a long time, man. Uh, but I, I just felt like that could have been addressed better because that's your franchise quarterback. And he sometimes I feel like he acts annoyed by questions that are questions that he's obviously going to be asked about. Like a Lamar Jackson, like, like Lamar Jackson is not, it's not your, your third string quarterback, it's not your second string running back, it's not this fourth string wide receiver, it's not this fifth cornerback on a depth chart, no, it's your starting quarterback, your MVP quarterback, that guy is the heart of your team, of course you're going to be asked about him, continuously because he's out, and w w people want an update. Now, I'm not saying that Harbaugh got to be like, oh, well, he, he got this and that and he's going to return in this exact amount of time and whatnot. I know Harbaugh doesn't like to set those expectations as far as people, when people are going to return from injury or whatnot because he's done that before and it's went bad. We know that and we get that. Hey, uh, y'all know about Rashad Perryman and whatnot. We ain't got to go down that road. There's been other guys too. Um, but I just felt like they could have addressed it a lot better, especially when Cordell asked that question and Harbaugh just brushed it off like it, it was just nobody. Um, but with all the rumors that were flying around about Lamar and about him missing the, the rehab and all that and him skipping out on the rehab with the team and whatnot, it's like, even though we, we know you don't like hearing about that stuff, we know Ravens listen. They have let it be known for the longest, for years, that they listen to all that outside noise. Um, but I just feel like they should have done a better job of defending Lamar Jackson if he's their guy. But that's why I'm glad that this article finally, finally came out uh, yesterday, um, yeah, well, yesterday evening uh, by Clifton Brown. It's on BaltimoreRavens.com. I'm sure you've all heard it and read it all and whatnot. But 
Uh, it says Lamar Jackson is working hard, but you can't rush Mother Nature. And I believe that was a quote uh, from Greg Roman on Lamar Jackson. Uh, and let's just read some of the article. We're not going to read the whole thing. We're going to read some of it. It started off saying Lamar Jackson is staying involved with the Ravens weekly preparation while he rehabs the knee injury that has kept him sidelined for three consecutive games. So right there, right there, that gives your uh, your quarterback Positive reinforcements like, hey, and that lets the fans know because fans are important. Please, just because you're a fan, just because we're fans, please do not feel like you are nothing, like that, that you mean nothing to the team, that you are not important to this team, because trust me, you are. You are. Do not diminish yourself. Do not belittle yourself. You are very important to the Baltimore Ravens. Every fan of every single team is important to that team because those teams want to make money, right? Those teams are businesses. How do you make money in business? Well, you make money but in business by selling to customers. Who are the customers? The fans. So, yeah, fans are very important. But anyway. Um, then he continued, he said, Jackson missed his 11th straight practice on Thursday, but he's staying involved with the game planning heading into Baltimore's matchup on Sunday night football against the Steelers. So again, more positive reinforcements, having your quarterbacks back amidst all this talk that's, that there's been about him uh, amongst media people, even Raven media people. Anyway, uh, he said, Jackson and Tyler Huntley talk on a daily basis. Bases providing Baltimore's backup quarterback with a valuable resource as he prepares for games. So look at that. So the, and the thing that's so special about this, it's not from the athletic, but athletic is credible. So that that's probably I, I should have probably used a, a better source than that. But athletic is pretty good. They're really good. I, I love the athletic. Um, but still, it's not from the athletic. It's not from the Baltimore Sun. It's not from ESPN.com. It's not from NFL.com. This is directly from Baltimore Ravens Com. So and we're not taking shots at those other websites, but we're trying to show you the point that it's coming directly from BaltimoreRavens.com. And that's significant because this is not an article where it's like, oh, sources said, sources said. No, it's coming straight from the source. So that is the most important thing right here. It's coming straight from the Roy Ravens about their starting quarterback. And that's so important for people to hear directly from them. So I appreciated this. Anyway, continuing, he says uh, he's definitely this is from a quote from Greg Roman. He's definitely engaged. Uh, Lamar and Snoop are real tight. Well, obviously, you know, they got that Florida connection. But anyway, uh, he said with our backup quarterback, we've been able to go three and one. I'm sure Lamar in his own way is contributing to that. I think he's a great teammate. They root for each other. Uh, Lamar is doing good. He's working hard, getting his rehab done. The way we feel, the sooner we can get him back, the better, especially heading into the playoffs. Let's get him. Let's let him get some work in before then but you can't rush mother nature we've got to make sure he's right at the same time so again positive reinforcements for their quarterback so this um th this was very important uh for the ravens to do in my opinion this was very important for the ravens to address it uh in my opinion and i, I wish it would have happened sooner but a hey, uh it's better late than never at all. So good job, Ravens. Good stuff, Ravens. Uh, team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for always watching. And we out.